Chicken, better chicken, best chicken, best tasty chicken. My price is your price. Pocket friendly. Hello, Solo. Hello. So, how has been your football practice? Tiring. <coughs> that one. I kept it special for you. Lazaro, your son has something to show you. Oh, okay. Here. Thank you, Lazaro. You're welcome. Good night, Good night you too. What do we have here? Junior. <laughs> Junior. I hope you are not disturbing your mother, are you? Okay, what do you have to show me? That's very good. Very good. That's the money for soya porridge that you wanted for Junior. And that is for my mother. Keep it. We shall send it tomorrow. Thank you. Now, what about money for braiding my hair? Oh, no. That's for another day. Hey, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Oh, that's all. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, you should eat properly, man. You're in training. Eat proper? Don't you know that this is the best chicken in Konoweka? <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come, I'll run you home. How is Junior? Good morning, Mr. Living. Junior is not well. He has a running stomach. Eh, and my friend Lazaro? Also not well. He has been to the latrine four times this morning. Ah! He is going like a borehole. Ah, sorry. You bring them both to the Harris Center to be treated. Mm, Livingstone. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Moses, uh, good morning. I, I have a letter for you. Thank you. This is important. Are you looking for someone? No. You better give me the rest. I'll be at the health center before you. You're a very good man, Mr. Moses. Yeah, yeah. There is Lazar. Maybe he will listen to you. Whenever I ask him to go for treatment, he's as stubborn as our neighbor's goat. to the health center. Get proper treatment. I have to make money to pay for the treatment. Ah, you make money not to pay for the treatment because you don't have to pay for it, but to pay me back my 1,500 shillings. 
And this is the last time I'm asking you to pay me back my money. What are you doing in there? Confirmed. It's cholera. Make sure that everyone washes their hands with soap and clean water. Set up IV lines for the patients who are very sick and give them darus. And give each patient two tablets of septrin. Observe this patient for I and O and give her oral fluids. Call me if she gets worse. Moses. <laughs> Mr. Wemer, never do that again. Never break such news before a patient. You scared her, did you see that? Where is Mr. Wilberforce? He should be here. Find him and let him know I need him urgently. Bosco, you know where Wilberforce is? Find him quickly. Dr. Sophia wants to see him now. Why? Why she want to see him now? Really disturbing. Mr. Innocent. Uh, yes, Madam Doctor. Do we have enough oral rehydration salts, IV fluids, and uh, giving states for a cholera outbreak? Uh, no, no, Madam Doctor. Uh, as you can see. Fill in a requisition for more. Uh, no, first mix up as many batches of ORS as you can and fill all the containers you have. I'll contact the DMO. Yes, Madam Doctor. Please, Nurse Jane. Yes, Doctor. From now on, we treat every case of diarrhea as cholera, and we must isolate all the cholera patients. So let's use the men's word as the cholera word, and any other patient out, okay? Yes, Doctor Sophia, I'll see to that. Do you have those samples for testing? You think I have nothing better to do? You need to give the call sign. So what's the call sign? That's a tough one. Connor Waker. Thank you. Connor Waker, Connor Waker calling. Over. Over. Oh, over. Go ahead, Connor Waker. Over. This is Dr. Sophia Vagara from Connor Waker Health Center. It is confirmed that we have a cholera outbreak in the trading center. And so many patients are coming in with symptoms since yesterday. Over. Thank you, Dr. Bagala. We have received similar reports from neighboring areas. Do you have any immediate needs? Over. Oh, yes, please. Oral rehydration salts, IV fluids, giving sets, and more stuff to help us here. Over. We will prepare supplies and staff. Send your ambulance to pick them up. Over. Where's the ambulance? Make sure the staff is practicing proper hand washing techniques and also try to find out the source of the outbreak. Over. I will send the ambulance as soon as I can. And yes, hand washing is topmost on our priority list. Thank you very much. Over. And out. Thank you, Mr. Wim. Uh, Dr. Sophia, I have found more Hadition surprise. You have? How? Where did you find them? It's all right, I'll, I'll see to him. 
Uh, Bosco, go to the DM's office and collect supplies. They're expecting you. Tell them you're from Konoweka Health Center. Take the ambulance. I always do, doctor. Uh, how is he? Oh, this man is seriously dehydrated. Mr. Wema, fetch the trolley. We have to put him on a drip. It is probably cholera, so be sure to wash your hands. Uh, Monday, we are admitting this patient, so tell Hope to get his bed ready. One, two, three. Chicken sticks. Aha, uh -huh, Lazaro. You can. You, you know the patient? Uh, yeah, maybe. This one is your friend? Uh, yes, I know him. He has a wife and a son. That one. You sure? Just do as I say. One, two, three. Mr. Moses, Mr. Moses, Lazaro, he is going to be all right. You know, he is my friend and he is... Uh... He is very sick. He should have come in earlier. But everything possible will be done to treat him. Don't worry, we'll look after him. Yeah, I told him to come in quickly and for him he is just there. <sighs> Lazaro, sorry for the sickness. Solomon, make sure you're out of that bed by Saturday afternoon, eh? We need you for football practice. Hey, Boda Boda, right? Daniel. Lazaro? Please tell my wife that I'll be coming back soon. I need to know how my son is. He had a running stomach this morning. Your child is sick also? My wife, tell her that I will be there. I'm sorry for you, Lazaro. I'm going to the market from here. I'll tell her. I'll tell her to bring the child into the house center immediately. Dr. Sophia, I need to share something with you. Is it important? I think so. What is it? I need half an hour off. For what? I want to go out. To do what? To look at some chicken. You are thinking about eating when we have an emergency on our hands? Well, that is the point. It is an emergency. Mr. Wemer. I suggest you change your attitude during working hours instead of thinking about chicken. All right, Dr. Sophia. I'll take an early lunch then. Is that okay? Yes. Young man. Lazaro, good day. Give me please some of your delicious food. Good to see you, Daniel. Here. I have just come from the health center, and your husband said he'll be coming home soon. I'll go and see him as soon as I finish selling my maize. He wants to know how Junior is. No better, no worse. Children do poo, -poo all the time. The doctor there said to bring Junior to see him. Ah, I can't afford doctors. The clinic is free. So you can come and sell my maize for me? Eh? I tell you, there is diarrhea every turn in this market. You get it from eating before washing your dirty hands, like you just did.
I've been waiting for a long time and no one has attended to me. I'm very sorry, sir. But I'm a big have... person. You treat me like a nobody? I'm very sorry you feel like that, sir. But nobody... Do I look like a child to you? No, sir. Definitely not. It's because we had a lot of emergencies. So I'm not an emergency? I will go to Dr. Wilbur's clinic. Will you treat me like an emergency? Dr. Wilbur? Oh, Dr. Wilbur. I'm happy to see you. I've been telling your sister here that today she has done no work and her services are very poor. Uh, Mr. Ken, I'm sure we can work this out. No. I'll be coming tomorrow in your clinic. Mr. Wilberforce, I need to see you in my office as soon as you're ready. Muchala Lazaro, your boy here looks weak. He has been like that since morning. What comes out of his behind is as forceful as water from the borehole. You know what, Junior? You can get some good medicine from the health center. Eh, eh! Let me sell my maize first. I'll take him in a good time. Eh! eh. It's good I didn't put shots on you. I wonder how many you will have spoiled by now. Muchala Lazalo. You wipe Junior's bottom almost with your bare hands and then wipe your hands on your clothes? Don't worry about that. I have another clean dress I'll wear tomorrow. Muchala Lazalo, you are spreading the germs that cause diarrhea. Of children's poopoo? <laughs> they are not all that dirty. Is poopoo clean enough to eat? Huh? You're putting it on the food. Germs are in the latrine, in the open sewer, on Junior's bottom. Jams come from poo, children's or adults. They get on your hands and then onto the maize, the chicken. Jams make you sick, okay? Now what do you want me to do? Wash your hands with soap and water. That gets rid of the jams that cause diarrhea. Hmm. Do you see any tap of water anywhere near here? Well, near enough. You can carry water. Muchala Lazaro. Take your son to the health center for treatment now. He is very sick with cholera. Huh? Believe me, if you don't, he will die. We were very busy this morning and I couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, I, I ran late. Everyone working with this health center is expected to be on duty as and when they are required. We had so many patients. Yes, I noticed one patient, uh, Mr. Kendo, complained bitterly about poor service here. It so happened that we had a crisis and we were understaffed. Mr. Kendo also mentioned a Dr. Welba, who has a clinic. A private clinic? Uh, Dr. Sophia, I don't recall seeing it documented anywhere that running a private clinic is a crime. No, provided it does not interfere with your official duties. In future, be on time and do your job well. Dr. Sophia, Mr. Lazaro's family has come in and Mr. Wema is testing the chicken sample he got from the trading center. What chicken sample? The one he got in his lunch break, doctor. Thank you, Nurse Jane. What do you think? Where did you get the sample? Nearby. Where? From the market. Konoweka Trading Center Market? That's the one. You think that's the source of the cholera outbreak? All our patients in the last few days have been connected with that market. Most of them have eaten food they bought there. The chicken man? And others. The main problem is lack of basic hygiene and hand washing. I'll have to talk to Mr. Zachary Band about this. This is a matter of the community. I'll go and talk to him. You're needed here more than I am right now. Uh, thank you, Mr. Wema. I'll go and check on Mr. Lazar now. Oh, his wife brought his son in. He's got diarrhea too. Mr. 
Mr. Lazar. Mr. Lazaro, can you hear me? Miss <laughs> Jean, another drip for Mr. Lazar. Yes, Doctor. Lazar, my dear friend Lazar, please don't die. But if you have to die, then what about my 1,500 shillings? Anyway, what are friends for but to be an inconvenience to their own friends? You die with my money. It is okay. How are you, Junior? He's responding well. He should make a quick recovery. Thank you, Madam Doctor. Thank you, God. Uh, Nurse Jean, we will need to change Lazaro Jr.'s drip. Doctor, we've run out of drips, Doctor. Obosco is bringing some from the dam. I'll wait for him and bring in enough for our patients in here. Uh, give them to Nurse Jean. All right, Doctor. Um, how is Mr. Lazaro? He's very weak. So, what happened? Um, you see, sir, Mr. Bafos. And my logbook, all paperwork has to be signed. It's blank, so you can feed all your expenses. I do my paperwork after my real work. Uh-huh, you are saying? Uh, the, you see, Dr. Sophia, she... What did she do? No, I... She... She did nothing. She just almost caught me. I'm sorry, Mr. Bafos. But she did not catch me. husband will he be eh, huh. I don't know as is so weakness eh, it doesn't look too well at all I know this is very difficult for you mrs. Lazaro we are giving your husband the best treatment we have ah you see him miss nurse you see I do see him and I know he's in a lot of pain I'll ask dr. Sophia to come and have a look at him please nurse thank you Oh, my Lazaro. So, my fellow country people, the solution lies in your hands. Dig compost pits for your rubbish. Most of all, wash your hands with soap and clean water before touching food or after using the latrine. Do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. If there are any cases of severe diarrhea in the community, take them to the health center immediately. And I, Zachary Banda, your most trusted LC3, will see that there's water provided for you here. And all you need to do is to get soap and use it. Laza, Laza, nurse, Miss Nurse, come quickly. My husband, his eyes. He's not breathing. Oh, nurse. <laughs> Tell him to open his eyes. Oh, God. Chara Lazar. 
There's nothing more we can do. Mommy! I'm very sorry. If only Mr. Lazaro had come in earlier, we could have saved him. But he was so dehydrated, he already had full-blown cholera. He got diarrhea. He didn't wash his hands after the toilet. The germs got on the chicken, and the people who ate the chicken got diarrhea. And so it went on. But I'm so pleased that his son was brought in in time. At least we saved him. Mr. Zachary Banda, the LC3, made a good speech. Washing hands is the key to preventing diseases like cholera, diarrhea, and others. So now, the community is mounting a basic hygiene and hand washing campaign. There will be water for the market traders. At least we have been able to do something good. It's a start. Take me to the center.